Hi friends, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is China, also known as Sugar Doll Plans, and this is the beginning of my January 2023 um, planner haul. I just got this in the mail today, and um, finally I felt like, okay, you have enough stuff, you can um, start the haul. So we'll go ahead and get into it, starting off with the Aura Estelle goodies. So... Um, she just had a like boxing day end of the year kind of sale and this got here pretty fast um, I was like just track the tra just check the tracking and it's already here but um, I just picked up like an oops I don't even really see what's the oops or it's like a misfit or something but I just picked up a misfit a camellia and a b6 I have one in an a6 because I needed an a6 to test some like dashboards and stuff that I was making when I was doing my shop um so yeah I wanted to pick it up in b6 and I was considering um using it for uh like my kit planning or something we'll see I guess like maybe the misfit or oops is like it's kind of like discolored up here but I don't really care it's gonna get discolored anyways unless I keep it in the dust bag all the time which is not likely so I picked this up um I just love the camellia color it's super pretty I guess, yeah, I guess the Misfits, is, I do see kind of like, if I look hard enough, I can see like some dirtiness, but that's not a big deal. Then I picked up the um, uh, Oops of the B6 2023 Weekly Essential, um, and they're, the Oops is they um, had a typo, and it contains, you know, the sticker sheets with the headers correctly Tuesday. Uh, so pretty much in all the monthlies, the Tuesday is misspelled, which is not a big deal to me. I can just put these little stickers on and cover it up and call it a day. So let's show this. So this is the 2023 Weekly Essential. You have kind of like an overview with some 2022 and some 2024. And then, um, so you have the monthly here and then you can see the Tuesday is misspelled not a big deal just use some stickers and cover it up I might even attempt to make some stickers for that but we'll see um, but really I wanted this to kind of just have like a week overview and like drop to-do lists over here and then the overview over here and then like maybe habits over here um, or tracking stuff like steps uh, meals whatever um, so I wanted to get this for that reason. I think this is one and a half columns. Uh, it, the column is one and a half inches wide and you could probably reverse that if you wanted to on this side because you can kind of see the paper is kind of uh, the Tom Rowe river paper so it's not like uh, super thick. It's kind of a little bit transparent. Um, but I was going to be kind of still planning on it once it gets here. Um, I have an order coming from OK Plans with like a B6 spiral and I am going to be doing like printable kits and like leftovers and stuff like that in that planner so I wanted to have like this so I could like like have like pen and like maybe some highlighter I don't usually use highlighters or different colored pens or something in this and then uh, I would transfer that over when I decide to do the stickers so that was that and then this was like the freebie uh, washi stickers um, typically I don't really use something like this but um, it's really cute I wish they were just like I don't know like the SPC ones because then I would use them more more than likely and then I picked up the simple grid companion just so I can write down like things to myself and to do's so I picked it up in the pink and um, so let's open it up come on I saw um SPC she got it in the A5 and so then I was like I'm gonna do it but I'm gonna do it in B6 because I already have a bajillion like B6 covers so I'm gonna do B6 and it just looks like this simple grid and you can um they're like leafed so you can like take the papers out if you need to um so yeah that is going to be my like hopefully functional situation Today I've been having just like a lot of anxiety thinking about like this year and the future and like what I want to accomplish so I just need to like write it down make a plan but I've just had a lot of anxiety recently so I guess I desperately need to go back to therapy but that has not happened yet so <laughs> um <clears throat> also um 
you guys should have already known by this point because of the videos that will hopefully be going up before this because it goes up at the end of the month but I am currently recovering from COVID um, right now I am technically I'm negative I took a test this morning so um, but still my voice is still a little weak so sorry about that um, so we have I think three SPC orders here and we'll start off with this one I think this one's the newest one I want to say um let me open this this is all my like extras and my invoices and all of that good stuff. Let me take my invoice off camera. I think this is the newest one, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry for clearing my throat. Um, so we got some stuff here, cool. Um, so let's look at the kits first. Let's move this out of the way. Get that out of the way and zoom y'all in. Let's look at these kits first. So first we have Frosty and I need to put this in my like February lineup. I need to double check. Um, but this is Frosty and it's Kittenish Dress Art and I love it. And I think it's like my January to February transition. Sorry if you guys can hear a lot of like cars and stuff there. It's like 117 in the afternoon. Um, so we have this kit freebie here with these waffles. I love waffles. I'm Leslie Nope, IRL. Um, and then we have um, we have this beautiful scene here. Um, if I felt like, I don't know, I might move stuff around. I could see myself maybe using this for Colorado. I am going to Colorado um, for work at the end of February. So I might move this, this was going to be like the first week, but I might move it to the last week because I see like mountains and stuff and then I might get a different kit. I was planning on getting snowbound and using that for Colorado, but I think I'll, I think I might use this for Colorado. It depends on how many like extenders I need. I always move stuff around. I don't, that's why I don't really like doing kit lineups, but I just love this, this art. I love these colors. Seek magic every day is like my vibe. I love magic. It's just so cute. The deco. The colors are just, I wonder, I can't remember if she did like an additional color for this because I could definitely see bringing in like this color here, but uh, I don't see it. So, um, <clears throat> so you have these, like a scene and then a flat lay and then these beautiful, gorgeous colors. And then you have this one and this one, this page here, this page here. I love the patterns. And then this is the last page with the waffles. I'll probably use this one. But, um, yeah. I am super excited to use this kit. Um, I will be doing a video. You guys might already see it, considering this is the last one. That I'm doing a video uh, where I... I mean, not last one. This is the last, like, video that goes up in the month. So I might have it up already. But I will be doing a video about, like, kits that I kind of hoarded um either accidentally or on purpose um and just showing like my collection of like kids I hoarded over like the last year um and like what I plan to bring into this year so I thought that'd be a fun little video but yeah this is um frosty and then we have this kit which is star cross which I'm planning to use for my anniversary as long as nothing else comes out um let's see here and I'm using Valentine's Day from Pink Diamond Planner Co. Uh, for Valentine's Day. So we have the um, freebie scene from Romeo and Juliet with Leonardo DiCaprio. And I don't know her name. I wasn't like too, I wasn't too excited with like this. I just don't like pop culture. Um, unless it's like Disney. Um, I'm just not here for pop culture. I don't want to mark watching a movie like in my planner like there's not any tv shows movies anything like it. <laughs> i'll mark it with one label but not a whole entire kit i do have like the stranger things kit and i was excited to use it but then i never got to use it so that's just my logic of my planner so anyways um i have this gorgeous scene and then uh the lovers william shakespeare romeo and juliet um this one says happy valentine's i might sub that out and not use that one um gorgeous deco love the colors we love a pink moment um then this is really pretty r plus j star cross champagne the mask i don't really consider myself a star cross lover with my fiance although i do consider us like kind of an anomaly because um i am a scorpio and he is a gemini although i my both of my parents are gemini's and 
before my fiance came in the picture, there were a lot of um, F boy Gemini's in my life, and I was like, I'm done with the Gemini's, I'm swearing them off. And then my fiance came in the picture, and like, it literally, it was 2017, like shortly after New Year's Eve, and they were like, Scorpio, your soulmate you're gonna meet this year is like Gemini. It was just like an astrology tweet. And I was like, there's no way in hell. And then literally three months later, here comes my, at the time, not my fiance, but now he's my fiance. So I do consider as like an anomaly in that matter because I was like, I'm done with Gemini's and then he came into my life and then he had the same birthday as my mom. So that was fun. <laughs> okay, so those were the two kits. Super excited to use them. You will see them in my lineups and how I'll pair them with stuff. Um, but we have these freebies. We have a sparkly hollow like Lux one and then we have this gold one here. Super cute. And then we picked up the sparkly red uh, hearts like love bundle. Um, this was from last year but I picked it up. I think I used it last year but I picked it up again for the Valentine's Day um, from Pink Diamond Planner Co. Because I do plan to use this with champagne lights. So we have this 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 page this page this page and then this page and um spc has been killing it with a bunch of new foil releases i'm super excited to pick up some i didn't pick up from any from like when this week of stuff released and i should have but oh well sometimes stuff goes on sale so then we have this rose gold one i guess we get three of those and then we have this a Kirsten freebie in this like powder blue color. I think I've had one of those before. I know she said they're running out soon in her videos and that um, there will be new freebies. I'm excited, although I don't think she has anyone on her PR team who uses like hate, who looks like Hazel, like with those stickers. So that I'm kind of like hesitant about. I prefer to use character stickers that look like me, like, and none of them look like me. So. That's just my deal. That's just something I have to deal with. Um, but I picked up some extras. So I picked up the Vegas extras because they were leaving. I think they're already gone at this point by the time you see this. Um, I picked up, we have the, like this like peachy um, color doodle of the week. So you guys by now hopefully have seen my, well, it's already up. If you haven't watched it, um, I'll try to remember to card right here. Uh, but uh, I have a colors of the week kind of organization. Um, that I showed how I set that up so we have this is the 56 color it's this kind of really pretty peachy pink um, color and I think it's gonna be so pretty with like spring spreads summer spreads um, could be even fall spreads if you had like a, going into like August fall kind of vibes and then <clears throat> sheet 11 and then 12 wonder when shirt shirt sheet 13 and 14 will make a debut i wonder um so i showed you the vegas stuff and then we also have these vegas fashion girls here and then we have the star crossed i just picked up for this one um because my fiance is white and not tan <laughs> uh so i picked up this one for me and then we have the uh color Oop, my camera's dying hold on all right, I'm back. I'm so glad I caught it before it died because this battery that I have can sometimes when it just like dies it corrupts my footage so glad I caught that but we got the um doodles. I was about to say I colored icons or doodles and then I picked up the happy anniversary um uh sheet and I'm definitely going to use this one instead of the happy valentine's day. And then I'll use this, even though I don't have my wedding band yet, I'm still just engaged, but part of me wants to hoard this, or like get another one to hoard just in case, but we're going to have faith that there will be more beautiful sets to come in the future. Um, so then I picked up the movie night uh, add-ons, just in case I want to pick up that kit again. Um, and then we have the uh, doodles, and then we have the magical joy um, add-on that I got with the uh, fashion people and I also got it for her because I don't have any children and won't anytime soon then we have these doodles the magical ones and then we have the standard doodles I do love these colors and then I picked up the uh, extra color and then just in case I feel like using life in plastic 
which considering I went through like all of my kits that I have from last year and I might um like I pretty much am set until like May starting so yeah that's gonna be rough for me but um I have this life in plastic add-on just in case like I might get it for summertime because I don't I have too many summer kits um and then we have the doodles and then this is the frosty add-on and then I picked up the the colorway with the fam 3 I mean not colorway the fam 3 because of my fiance is not tan but I am um so he's pasty white <laughs> and then we have these uh doodles and then we have this fashion girl I definitely think I could make this work for Colorado so I think I'm gonna probably do that need to do that on my word document but I'm gonna put my add-ons because I always misplace them I'm gonna go ahead and just put them in here already with the kit so that and then let's get and then these I just usually put in with my kit stuff so make sure I don't have that yeah I'm definitely not using that double box scene I just I liked Romeo and Julia in high school which was like I still like it like I just wouldn't rewatch it um but anyways yeah I read the book liked the movies I think I liked both movies okay so then I picked up the hearts underlays in gold and the champagne lights and this is for the valentine's day with the sparkly red and then i picked it up in uh, matte bronze which i'm pairing with this i don't know if i want to do like matte bronze and gold yet or what and then i have the sparkly red hearts okay yeah so th these two are for valentine's day and then this is just like i guess just in case maybe that was my logic and then we have th this pattern with the gold the sparkly gold uh, champagne lights the matte bronze which i'll pair with that already just put it together and then um the sparkly red and then i discovered i got these b6 kits because i am going to be doing my b6 thing and then i discovered i already have these so that's great but i guess i could just reuse them if i decide to continue with my b6 journey um planning in my b6 bar whenever i get it and then i picked I didn't pick this up. This just came. It is the 75 plus freebie. It's the 2022 bestsellers. So you have books and McDonald's and a car and then a Chipotle bag and then a crumble cookie, groceries. I don't remember ever seeing this sheet. A planner and this is like a gray colorway. Obviously, this looks like a dragonfly. How is this a bestseller? What is this? <laughs> I don't know. Then we have these uh, sticker sheets, the stethoscope, umbrella, YouTube laptop, Target bag, AirPods, um, what is this, a switch, uh, laundry, washing machine, laptop, Happy Mail, an SUV pickup, books, Taco Bell, dumbbells, slippers, uh, what are these, uh, dog walking, uh, leash, uh, Chick-fil-A, ears, uh, wax melt and then a shopping cart and then oh, I love these this is my favorite one my favorite color so um $300 freebie I didn't spend $300 but I appreciate this this is gold and then we have this little journaling card and it just says season creeping just a little note wishing you and your family a spectacular spooktacular holiday season may the final days of 2022 be good to you blah 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 so that was order number one <laughs> then the other orders I don't think are as big, so um, let's see. Let me try to. I don't know how to separate them. I think we have these and then that, and maybe this one. Yep, and then these are over here. Okay, so first we have. I think this is the same like seasons creepings thing. So let me just open it. I've now received it like three times, but I'm not mad. We love free stuff. So let's open this. I guess she just ran out of like the envelopes or something. Or I think she ran out of like the vinyls or something. I don't know. Let me open. Ta-da. So I 
have one of these already, but not a big deal. Um, I do love getting these little matte labels, so I should be set. And then we have the Hollow Christmas uh, movie sampler, and then the same, uh, I don't know if it's a sticker flake or like how she does her things, or if it's a vinyl or whatnot. It might be just like a sticker flake from like the decorating pack. And then you have this journaling card again. And then I picked up three of the gold champagne lights uh, foil bundles. Since I have three, I will just open one, not all three. So let me get it open. Let's see. So we have this sheet here. This is the um, shimmer bundle, I think. And this page here. This page, this like foil bundle is super popular and it sold out super fast so i had to pick up three i think i already have two left but um i might go back for more because it's one of my favorites and it's just so easily goes with everything so that is that and then i think this is just like a color of the week that i picked up with it let's see uh, there we go let me take my invoice so you guys can't see that but this is like a pretty blue color and it is um color number 54 and i picked up all 12 sheets so we have 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 three, two, and one. So that was that order. And then this is the last order. But I think this one came first, maybe? I don't remember. Taking the invoice out, we have this color of the week. That's a gray color. So we have sheets 12. I do like the, the newest order I had. She put them like 1 through 12 instead of 12 through 1. So 11. This is, uh, this was actually, I guess, after that one because this is number 55. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I think this could go well with so many spreads since it's so neutral. 5. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, so that was the color of the week. And then I picked up, I think, just one kit and two foil bundles. Um, so this kit is Snow Day, and I think this is for end of January for me, so now I can finally do my January lineup. Um, not that I like doing lineup videos, but I'm just going to do it for the sake of content. So... We have this sheet, uh, this sheet, this kit here, uh, two double box scenes, I think that's like a lot, I'm like nervous about it, but hopefully there's enough boxes, um, <clears throat> and then we have the deco, I love these colors, I'm just really feeling this for, this color scheme for January, um, and then uh, we have these uh, full boxes, like I said, love the colors, then we have this page here, we have this page here, this page here, solid labels, pattern labels, the little snow icicles, and the snowflakes are fun. And then this looks like snow too. And then we have this uh, full box here, and I love the bottom washi. And then we have another, another double box scene. I might just split it and like do a quote box over here and put that on the sidebar. And then we have the fam two i love this lady then we have the icons and then this is the 75 plus freebie and the purple colorway really pretty um so yeah that was the kit and then let me show you the foil bundles and then this portion of the haul is done so let's see let's put it back in i'm trying my best to like remember to put kits away when I like show them in hauls because I usually just kind of make a mess 
all over my desk and I'm trying to be organized. Today's like National Clean Your Desk Day. Apparently, according to my Amazon Alexa. Okay, so this is another one of those um, envelopes with the freebies. So, there we go. We have this little vinyl like sticker or maybe, I don't know. I really don't know. Then we have the matte label sampler, and then we have the scripts, and then the journaling card, and then um, we have this really pretty, like, chunky, sparkly, hollow confetti foil bundle, and I think this was the start of, like, reformatting the... No, I don't think so. This was, I guess, right before... I love this. I wish I would have. I should. I might get another one of these. It is so pretty. It's like a disco ball. Um, so that is the chunky, sparkly hollow. I want to say, not a thousand percent sure. Don't quote me. So we have that, and then we have this like chunky champagne lights kind of. So they're both like chunky disco balls. Um, so it doesn't really show that much on this sheet though, but on the like bows it does, I guess. So this is the bottom washi, I mean not bottom washi, bougie boxes. You can definitely see it in the icons. And the bottom washi is a little bit chunkier than the champagne lights. So that was everything for this portion of the haul. And I will see you guys so super soon with the next portion. It'll be like one second for y'all, but it'll be a while for me because <laughs> I have to order some stuff. So... Hopefully the next half is also equally as lit. <laughs> Hi friends. Um, finally getting this part two of this haul done. Um, your girl was sick this past weekend when I had planned to film and it's just been a crazy time. So we finally are finishing out the J January, almost a July. We're not jumping that far ahead. January haul. And just giving a heads up that my February haul will probably be teeny bit small, probably like under 30 minutes. I haven't made a single order and today is the 7th and there's only 21 days left in the month and I am trying to be good um, <clears throat> and be on a budget. So we're working on our finances. February is kind of like my new January because uh, I was also sick with COVID in January and had um, so much stuff. So February is kind of like where I'm like buckling down, trying to work on the goals for the year. So let's stop rambling about that because I'm sure you guys don't care no more. And you guys are like, let's just see the goodies. We don't care about your life. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know you guys are so sweet and so kind to me. Um, but I know you guys are here for the planner stuff. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first things first. I have an order from OK Plans, um, two orders technically, and I've been so excited to play with this, and I haven't even opened her up yet because I've been waiting to show y'all her for the haul to open it. But this is like my play, do printables, do leftovers, um, kind of like functional decorative planner. I had been wanting to do something like a B6 spiral for a minute, a hot minute, and then I like, every format I would see was just like, not for me, and then one day I like remembered seeing, I think it's sarek.k.plans, um, let me see, I'll show you guys her on my phone, yep, sarah.k.plans, make sure to follow her. Um, but I remember seeing her on her stories. She doesn't post this. But I remember seeing on her stories, like, Joe Flip. And I was just like, oh, my God. Like, Sarah, where do you get that from? Like, I've been trying to do this. But, like, I've not jumped on the gun. Like, I've done ring-bound B6s and I never do them. And I just figured dated planners are so much easier for me. So, she showed me hers. She did, like, a flip through and, like, sent me her, you know, planner and stuff. This is the inside pattern of that cover. Um, and then you have... A blank thing here you can put vinyls you can put your name vinyl whatever and then you have this here 2023 and then you have some notes and then you can do like monthly overviews or highlights or whatever there and then here 
these are not labeled I can probably make some or buy some from somebody but you have January and then you have February but the weeks in between look like this and I like that they're already dated I feel like that's one of the things that was working against me when I would try to do B6 like sticker planning but like in a functional way so I'm super excited to do this and I'm just gonna like memory plan some of the other weeks like that are not where we're at because I'm in February and I'm in the second week of February um <clears throat> but yeah I just figured it'd be a cute little moment a cute little vibe so that's the planner I'm just gonna flip like this looks the same for you know every other section monthlies the monthlies do fit the SPC B6 so um I am still trying to figure out like what my life routine schedule is gonna be like um, doing a plan with me the last time I did one did give me a lot of anxiety but I do miss it and I do really need to get caught up on uh, my planner like my main memory planner this is not really my memory planner it's just like I'm gonna be memory planning some spreads but um like as well in here as my other one and then there's a bunch of like notes pages back here also so that's really cool so um, and then this is the back cover and then you have this so that is my b6 spiral from okay plans it's such a thick uh, ring but obviously it's gonna get like thick with um stickers and stuff probably not gonna do any extenders or anything it's gonna be like very basic but if you guys do want to see like me pre-plan in this um or like see me do like a memory pre-plan or something um I would obviously not <laughs> leave in too many details, um, although I, I am nosy and I do like tea, like my best friend Cindy, um, whenever she makes videos I'm always like pausing and like zooming in and like what was this and then she's like oh my god you be like zooming in on stuff and I'm like yes I do ma'am, I am busy, I am nosy so that is what we do. And then from that same order I had ordered some of these dividers for my um, storage because um, at the time, Bubble Bear Studios was out, and I was pretty sure, like, the quality would be the same. So, you know, not a big deal. However, I do think, like, I'm not going to go with this method just because, like, I feel like it's so thick. Um, and you only get, like, five versus I might just make some, like, double, like, you can make dividers with, like, sticker paper and just do that for my storage, but we'll see. I mean, I already have these, so I don't really want to waste them, but I had picked up, um, one, two, three, four, and they're five, they're, like, five dividers, so my concern was, like, having an extra if I don't need that for, like, a certain section, like, what would I do with it, so I don't know. We shall see. So, yeah, that was the first part of my order from OK Plans. And then this is my most recent order from OK Plans. I got some covers for my B6 because I have not had a like um I have not had a like well I do actually have a spiral bound. I have an A5 daily duo from um Erin Condren and I also use that. Um mostly as like to do's and like to get like a idea of like my weekly schedule and like the daily schedule it's you know mostly like hourly and then like a few to do's um so we have that and then I also love um I don't know I think she does make notebooks but I don't know if she makes them spiral bound I'll have to double check but essentially like I love the Erin Condren spiral bound notebooks and um I get those as well and yeah I've tried a few stuff so I'm not gonna say this is my first spiral but you know this is my first like decorative planning spiral so I wanted to have some options for covers so first we have this little like scene with like the cafe this is Kittenish Jess art and then you have um these like little drinks and then this little cake and like a parf yogurt parfait and that's just like my vibe I guess this is like the default inside but I don't mind it and then on the back is just the same thing um you can mix and match and then this one oh this one's different okay um I guess you can see I think like you can see on her website like when you pick the cover like what the back would be I'm not 100% sure like I think this pattern came from this art set so this is the pattern that came from this art set 
So for this girl here, I am a little plus size little girly, so I got the plus size fashion girl. She's just so gorgeous, and I always love I like a nude lip, but yeah, she's so cute. So we got this one, and then you know, getting married. So we have this one as well. Probably just put it on like whenever I get married, which is TBD. So that's a, like a big thing of stress. Um, like we're on the fence. Like we're gonna get married most likely hopefully this year and if we do we have to start figuring that out but if it was this year it wouldn't be like a full-blown wedding it would be like elopement vibes so we'll see this is like so beautiful like if she had like a long sleeve dress that would be kind of more like the vibe i'm going for with the dress and then i love the hair so super cute and I also love the like veil although I was telling my fiance I want like a super embellished like pearls rhinestones or harsky whatever veil <clears throat> so then um with that came this journaling card I think this is the midnight's clip art um from kittenish Jess and then we have this little like full box scene um from the art that I'm using for my anniversary. I'm not using it for uh, Valentine's Day, but it's star-crossed. And then <clears throat> this is like you can collect paw prints on each sticker sheet and collect a paw freebie. Please write your name and date and send me a picture of this card. So you have one of those. And then we have this as well, which is like they have uh, Etsy and they have Shopify, YouTube, Instagram, and then this like scene with a computer that's a cute little moment and that looks like um kittenish just like a pattern in the background and you have some laptops some fancy labels and then like a full box scene i love this art very like springtime so then we also have um another one of these journaling cards i think this one's bigger yeah this one's like a5 and it's also a kittenish just art let me get it open come on oh it's on the other side Oops, my mistake. Let me see. There we go. So, you know, it just says thank you for supporting my small business, blah, 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 uh, socials, etc. And then this is coming and cozy up. And the texture is really nice. It's like a velvety kind of journaling card. It's hard to describe. Then you have another one of these little cards. And then this is a uh, full box, I think, with the art from Kittenish Jess, where uh, it's like the Eiffel Towers, and it was like the New Year's art last year, but I did hoard it for, like, possibly going to Paris one day with my love, so. And then we have this um, computer. It's so cute. It's just white, though. There's no color. And it's, like, winter time. I guess you could color it in if you wanted to. I probably wouldn't. <laughs> Then I ordered some monthlies and we have this freebie here with some scripts. This is like a really soft like matte paper. This is another full box scene and then you have some date dots and scripts. I don't usually use white scripts but I mean I don't really care that much in my like B6. And then I picked up two glossy monthlies. So this one's for the B6. And I don't know if I'll use this one for February or use it for March because my anniversary is also in March and if I'll use Netflix and chill from SBC and the B6. So, but this is B6. Her B6 kit is so cute. Has so much stuff. I don't know if I want to do functional or like deco yet. I probably want to do functional, although I don't know how much I can fit in there unless I use like a 0 .3 pen. And then you have some boxes and some labels and everything. So, it's super cute. And then... I, loved what, I just really love that art. And then I picked up this, City Love. And I wasn't planning to use City Love as a weekly because I still have this art from SBC from last year. And I wasn't planning to use it. But then I decided to like not want to spend too much money. So I will be using it. So I'm going to be using this, I think, for my March monthly. And then I was going to get Star Cross as a monthly or the pillow talk art in the purple colorway either way for my normal memory like highlights monthly highlights so either way it will be used but um yeah i decided to use the like this art in a weekly in the month of february so at first i was going to use this for february excuse me i'm burping 
I was gonna use this for February but I don't like using the same art twice like in the same month like from monthly and a weekly so um but this is the format I just didn't like the colorway of some of the other shops I had seen with the pillow talk but I did find a printable from uh, I think planner pixie co and I do think she makes it that fits 1.6 which is what I use which is like standard EC sizing so you have this sheet here and then you have these labels and like little small things and whatnot here so that was my order both of my orders from okay plans then really quickly I'll show you guys some Bubba Bear Studios because I just think I think it's just this and then this pen so um we have some more discs for my disc bound um organization system I got the two I think these are the same size yeah I think I got two of the biggest ones you can get which I think are like 58 millimeters possibly I'm not 100% sure and then I wanted to try this pen. I just love pens. I'm a sucker for pens. So I just wanted to try this one from uh, Bubba Bear. So let me, it's like a fine line office MNG. Um, do not use for other than writing. Place cap firmly after each use. So let me write. It's very like loud. I mean, that's okay. It dries really fast. All right, hello. Wow, it dries so fast. I do like it. It's very, like, it gives you, like, that feel of, like, writing with, like, a bigger pen, but then it's, like, smaller. I don't know what size it is. I would guess maybe around 0.38, or maybe it could be 0.5. But I love this pen. I heart this pen no smudge so if you guys are interested in this pen go on Bubba Bear Studios I does it say here oh it is point thirty eight. yep I was right but it doesn't feel like using point thirty eight pens sometimes like when I use point thirty eight pens I feel like I, my writing still doesn't feel like controlled which can be like frustrating so that was Bubba Bear Studios and then finally I found where I put my stuff like where I put my um, mysteries and thank goodness for that because I was getting like panicked and I was like about to oh this was also from Bubba Bears real quick um, this little like freebie let me open it Let's see so I love how she always puts your name says little giggle for you I have a pen that can write underwater it can write other words too oh, oh my goodness that went like over my head I'm sorry I'm dumb then we have these doodles the bear like cooking the cloud the um, cat in the bush and the bear is like the king or queen and this is January 2023 so you have optometrist roller coaster bumper car laser tag oh I want to go laser tag I'm not really into bumper cars, but I do want to go on a roller coaster. And I have sub sandwich, heart stamp, I love the sandwich, and then a bouquet. So that is the little freebie from Bubba Bear Studios. <clears throat> but yeah, I, you guys, I finally found these mysteries, and I'm sorry they weren't included in last month's haul. I know at this point you guys are probably like, who cares? Um, but anyways, I misplaced them. Um, I usually use like a little tote bag sometimes when I know like there's a lot of mail to go get and I was the mail bag was like literally right in front of my front door but my foyer where I come in at the front door was like a mess and so um, I had found these though before I deep cleaned I did just clean it like super big super big that's not even a thing I did just clean it super well I vacuumed I got rid of coats, I got rid of in the coat closet, I selected shoes to get rid of, so yeah. Okay, hold on, let's go through this kit. I was not like super keen on this kit when I first saw it. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I mean, I always try to find like a purpose for it and now I have like this additional planner so that helps, but I do like hate using mysteries, like not mysteries, like ultimates in smaller planners but we'll see so we have 
2022 Cyber Mystery mm, Cyber Monday Mystery Starry Nights Extra Box. And then I do love the colors. I love this 15 millimeter washi. It's almost like a, a black blue. It's so deep. And then just such fun colors with the deco, flags, boxes, weekend, um, label. I, I wouldn't call it a banner. It's like a label or a script. Weekend script. And then, I don't know what is that. Wow, her paper is so thick. And then we have, I love this. I mean, like if I went to Seattle. I probably wouldn't use it in my main planner, but like it has Seattle in the background, so I would consider, like I have family there, so if I wanted to like do it in the side planner and like plan that out, like I would do that. Um, not my side planner, it's my functional B6 decorative planner. <laughs> so yeah, and then we have these labels here, the colors are so pretty, I love the patterns. I just like, I don't know, like I don't hate this kit, I just wouldn't have picked it up like if it came to shop, which is like a common thing for me um, with mysteries a lot of the time. Like not like shop mysteries, cause like the shop mysteries are usually good, but Cyber Monday mysteries, I don't know what it is, like, I don't know. But then it's like, here we have this, and it's like a little artist, it almost reminds me of like, um, I want to say Miss Marvel. I feel like she's an artist. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah. And then it came with this like, I think she calls it gold sparkly. Sparkly gold? Sparkly gold hollow? I don't know what she calls it. But it's essentially it's champagne lights. Um, the celestial foil bundle. I'm just not a huge celestial fan. Like that, if I had to say like why I wasn't like into it, that's why. I just don't like celestial. I think it's like... I remember when I first started planning and if I had to say it like I know people like don't like Disney kits I understand like I respect that I love Disney kits so you know but of the like kits that would come out on the themes like a lot of the time they were niche about celestial about marble like girly or niche about mermaids and I hate mermaids and so or like fairies like I'm I'm sorry I'm starting to sound like a hater on like the uh Fantas fant how do you say it? fantastical fa fantasy kind of stuff but I'm really not into all that stuff like I I mean I, I try to be I try to get into it I try to get into like Harry Potter and like Twilight and all that like I was into Twilight I was not into Harry Potter as a child and I tried to read the books and watch the movies and all that but nonetheless here we go we have this <laughs> foil bundle and then I do love the like moon phases like I do like astronomy I just don't like celestial i don't know what it is um to me it's like a difference if that makes any sense and then you have these icons and these scripts and then the bougie so that was the cyber monday mystery from press press and then we have this which i actually feel like would have possibly come up it was not like it wouldn't have been like the top on the list for me to mark something for me it would have been for my fiance as he loves board games and so does his family so like, I would use it to mark, like, if we had someone's birthday party or board game party, because that's literally something that my fiancé is, oh, well, I'm just gonna, like, for the sake of, like, not making stuff complicated, she is the partner of my fiancé's brother, but I'm just gonna say she's my sister-in-law, so, just to not make it super complicated, but her and, um, she's really actually more into the board games, like, she has, like, a YouTube channel, like, that she's a part of, and... A lot of the stuff and so yeah so she is actually really the true like board games connoisseur um so yeah so i would she used to actually have like parties and stuff so this would have been like great to mark that although i sometimes i was sick so i would just sit off on the side <laughs> and like not play because i didn't want to get close to people um and then you have this here the colors are like insane i do think like i could use this for my fiance's birthday if we ever have like a board game party or something like that because he loves he actually loves board games too it's just like he says i don't play with him enough so it's my fault so yeah we have these insane patterns i do like the rainbow you know it's giving very gamer-esque gamer, gamer 2.0-esque i love the like icons and i love how like the lime green is like bought in with the doodles instead of just being like the main colors and then we have these fashion people and like the hands hands kind of freak me out like drawn hands and kits i know some people really like them but 
So anyways, then we have, I think, I forgot, this is Twinkle, I don't know which, Shimmer, Shimmer format of the Rainbow Foil, and I was excited that I finally remembered, or not remembered, but checked and found Shimmer, yeah, found where this was, because I really just, like, love the foil more than anything, and I'm usually not, like, a Rainbow Foil person, but... I think it's gonna be like bomb. I don't know if I'm gonna use them together. In fact, I kind of see this being more like with hollow, in my opinion, than rainbow. So hollow, sparkly hollow. So I don't know if I'll use them together, but I'll definitely like, I'm probably gonna hoard this rainbow one because it's literally already sold out. Literally sold out like the same week that it came to shop. So you guys are crazy. Um, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you guys are not crazy. Um, I'm just messing with you guys. But anyways. Okay, so then let's get into this Caress Press other kit that I have here. And I'm so excited to use this. I'm thinking Mother's Day um, is kind of what I'm going for so far. Just because, like, it reminds me of, like, girliness and my mom because I'm an adult. And, like, I don't really usually care for the other Mother's Day kits where it's, like, the point of view of, like, a mom. Like, I am a dog mom, but... Anyway, so we have this 15 millimeter gorgeous fuchsia color, and I just think it's like rare spring, very May vibes, bright colors. I know Shan Plans is like probably living for this. Um, so then we have like deco, flags, squares, labels, weekend script. We have our full boxes here. It's just so gorgeous. And my mom does have a Gucci purse that she got for herself, and she got herself a Louis Vuitton because she's that girl. Like Beyonce said, I'm that girl. That's my mom. Um, it's just like very like spring-esque like if I if it wasn't like so overly girly though I would definitely like this is like elopement vibes for me like I'm just very like cottage uh, Not cottage. No, no, no castle like just a lady like fairy tale like I don't know <laughs> That's my vibes for like wedding stuff and and all that like, I just wanted like magic inspired and fairy tale and whatnot so that's what inspired my wedding visions. Then we have these labels, these gorgeous colors. Um, we also have some, I'm just gonna pick this up, double boxing and some other fashion girls. And then oh, another full box. And then we have this page here. Oh, I had to get it in the like biggest format. So we have the checklist. So if there's any extras, I can just use that in my what's it called and I also use a b6 by Aura Style um like her like b6 like weekly overview kind of planner so I also have been using like these types of stickers in there um and then we have bottom washi date dots date covers another full box scene and another little thing so super cute I love the colors and yeah, it's definitely probably going in, like, May for me. And right now, it's, like, slotted, potentially, as a Mother's Day kit. Then, from that same Caress Press order, I just ordered some more whole reinforcers, even though I can make them. And I'm going to, but I just, like, I'm here. And I think I needed enough to use the code, maybe. So I got two of the um, confetti kind of whole reinforcers, one in sparkly hollow and one in gold. And then we have this freebie with like sprinkles and celebrate happy birthday cake and a party hat. So then um, I'm gonna open this fox and cactus order. Let's see. So she had her vault sale like after Christmas, after New Year's I wanna say. So I had to, you know, place an order she had like a new hair color or a new design with a hair color or something so we have these freebies here an extra special sampler just for you and it says um just a little maya as a i think it's a gremlin and then shrek being sexy look at moi please and a little dog and then um like the person doing the hands like ooh, like spongebob and then to do and then i, I realize now you guys can see me go like woo anyways have a flippin' awesome new year a to-do checklist plan week um the cats one looking grumpy one looking happy a walrus going woo with a glass and then sort emails something i definitely don't really do but i should <laughs> so then it says so you've ordered some goodies thank you you absolute legend it means the world to us that you choose to support a small business blah blah blah, blah. and it says new year same me 
I am trying to be a little bit different. So not New Year's Day me, but you know. Then we have some cotton candy takeaway girls in the the heck was that? Medium skin tone. And then we have the pastel laptop girls in the medium skin tone. We have the pastel walking girls in the medium skin tone. I think this is what was one of the new ones. So I got two of those because you know your girl's trying to work on her health. Then we have the fitness ones, which also needing to work on the health. And then we have the pastel chore girls because these are all me when doing chores. Except I'm starting to try to like just like put on a podcast, put on some music and jam and like or just like listen to stuff and just embrace it and not be like so annoyed and just like make time for it especially during the day because I always wait till the last minute and I've been I was doing well with it we'll see how long I stick with it I didn't do that well today or this past weekend because I was sick so then we have cotton candy help I'm old girls and then also I had class yesterday we have cotton candy bookworm girls cotton candy working girls and then cotton candy working girls so that was my order from Fox and Cactus. So excited to use all of the stickers. So anyways, moving along to, I think, Pink Diamond Planner Co. And then last will be SPC. So from Pink Diamond Planner Co., this is my Valentine's Day kit. I saw it, like, and I was just like, this is, like, for Valentine's Day. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I got to use it. So, um, like, it just screamed Valentine's Day to me. So anyways. We have this double box scene, although this is not even like my Valentine's Day vibes, even though like I, I do like the chocolate covered strawberries and I usually don't get sprinkled like donuts. Um, I don't really even do any of that and we're not going to go out. We're going to like stay in just because it's like the middle of the week. Uh, maybe we'll do something ahead of time. I'll have to talk to my fiance after I film this, but um. Not me getting cut off. Okay, we're seeing two movies next week. Next week is actually Valentine's Day. And um, we're seeing one, which is an anime movie for a show. My fiance really liked it and he wanted me to watch it. And now I'm into it. And now I'm reading the mangas. It's Kaguya-sama. Uh, Love is War, I think is how to say it. But anyways, I have the books. I'm trying to finish them because I need to return them to the library soon. But they don't, they don't take that much time. Um, but anyways, we're going to be seeing that Wednesday, so the day after Valentine's Day, and then the Friday after Valentine's Day, we're seeing Ant-Man and the Wasp of Quantumania, so we're going to the movies twice, and yeah, we're just trying not, we're going to get, like, sushi to go, and we're just trying not to be, like, out and, like, do too much, because it's the middle of the week, and, you know, my fiancé has more of a heavy course load for school than I do, and so I'd rather just, like, be chill, watch movies, get sushi, get a cake, like a strawberry shortcake at Wegmans or something, um, and I know he's ordered me some goodies, he said, so we'll see what they are, but yeah, we're just mostly being chill. Um, maybe this coming weekend we can have, like, a date day. It just depends on how much, like, assignments my fiancé can get done on a weekend, though, so we shall see. So then we have, um, the deco and, um, our labels, work labels, movie marquees, weekend script, and then have this page here and then I just love this scene with a little balloon and the lights I, I want to put fairy lights in our bedroom my fiance does not like additional light when he's trying to sleep though so we don't um, then we have this page here and we have this page of like labels and little things solid and then they have them in the patterns and then we have this page here so I'm definitely gonna be cozy and and, co and cozy and cute, but like I guess this will give me like the the vibe that I'm out. Like I really I should have used like Netflix and chill for like <laughs> this Valentine's Day. So then we have these extra freebie boxes, and then we have the doodles, and then we have the fashion two, and then we have the fashion kissing medium. I guess this one looks like probably the closest to me and Christopher. And then we have the fashion date medium. This does not really look close like Christopher, but we'll just pretend. And then we have this um, extra labels. And then date night bath Starbucks. And then some overlays. And I am using, I think, sparkly red with this. So I can definitely use those. 
If you, if you guys are using this, tell me what photo you're using. I'm using like champagne lights and sparkly red. Like I'm going crazy for real. We go on real crazy. So then we have, I don't know if this was the same order or not. I don't think so because it's different freebie. So we have some <clears throat> headers and some scripts and an icon, some icons there. And then we have wine and relax, celebrate time to get planning. And it's like kind of like New Year's confetti vibes. And then I did pick up the, like, I think this was her first doodles of the week. And I have been missing doodles of the week. It's for the best for my bank account, but um, I do miss buying them. And I've missed like two that I really wanted from SBC. And she just like, I think she's like been putting stuff up sooner and taking stuff down sooner. So usually I just procrastinate and... For a while, like, you could get stuff up until, like, 12 o'clock on Monday after new releases. But I feel like she's been, like, taking everything down so early. Um, like, I'll even get on at, like, 8 o'clock in the morning on Monday and it'll already be taken down. And I'll just be like, okay, well, then never mind then. <laughs> um, but it's okay. Like, I have a ton of colors of the week. It's just I really liked, like, the teal one. And there was, like, a pink one, I think, or something, or a green one. I don't remember. But I was just, like, very frustrated when I first saw that. And she's been doing it, like, every single week. So, I understand, like, it's her business model. Like, <laughs> I'm just like, can you guys, like, can you let the procrastinators have, like, a little bit more time? Like, it's literally not even, like, 9 o'clock in the morning. But that is what it is. But anyways, we have this, like, periwinkle kind of gray color with this sheet of icons and then this sheet and then this sheet and then this last sheet here is like with the fast foods and some exclusive doodles to um, Pink Diamond Planner Co. shop and then I picked up the little Starbucks cups I picked up the Chipotle bags I've been actually really into Chipotle recently I picked up some Taco Bell bags sometimes into Taco Bell it depends um, I picked up a Wendy's bag. I have been, last, this past week we got Wendy's and then the McDonald's. I don't know if she's come out with the pastels for these yet. If so, I'll have to get them. But yeah, that, and I know there's like a few new ones. So definitely check out Pink Diamond Planner Co. And then um, we'll go through this SPC Mystery, which I actually love. Really trying to get back into reading. I was really into it when I was younger. So yeah, so let me open this. There we go. So then, um, before I guess I flip everything around, here are the extra freebie boxes of the fashion girls with the books. And then we'll flip that around. So here are the full boxes. So cute. I'm obsessed. I just love the colors. So relaxing. Definitely using this like around April um, for like marking like the end of the semester. I usually like use like a school time cozy vibes, even though it's like not cozy at all. Um, being at the end of your semester, but yeah, I really love these colors. I do think they could be like transition to fall and they're a good transition to spring. So yeah, so that is, um, these are the labels, the pattern labels, the full box here. And then, um, I love the doodles and she brings in like that extra color into the doodles just to bring it out. And then this is like for the quote box. Uh, I don't like actually using these though so but I'm glad it's like just something like off on the side um, and then you have this box here and the tall box and then we have here this little like add-on of like just one more chapter um, some books uh, this is the book bottom washi and um, scripts about reading and then you have um, these overlays here, bougie. This is a shimmer format. This is my bronze. It's a newer format, I think, because of the scripts. Yeah, wait, I don't, I don't think shimmer ever came in like a different type of scripts. I'm not 100% sure. And then we have this page here. So that was the, um, I think February 2022 mystery. And I do have plans to use this kit this year. Um, I'm definitely bumping stuff around as like more art comes out like I need to make room for a Taddy Cafe, I need to make room for a like, Sugar Bunny, um, so yeah. So this is from a different SPC order, so we have a rack here with these like matte pink, I can definitely pull that into my like B6 type of stuff and it's foiled so I'll bring in some foil because I'm not going to be like foil heavy and that's so we have these pink with gold, super cute, this is a rack icons and then 
uh, bottom washing. Could even probably work with that, but I wouldn't mix it up. I was I can get words out, I promise. Um, I was comparing it next to the mystery I just showed y'all. And I do think like it could work if you wanted it to. I just necessarily wouldn't do it. Also, it's like a matte bronze foil, so it wouldn't match per se. But if you wanted to do gold, you could, and then maybe it would fit a little bit. It's a little too baby pink. So then I picked up Snowbound. I am using this some week in this month. I don't know which one. It hasn't even really been like that snowy. It's only been kind of cold and windy, but yeah, this has been a kind of like mild winter for us, luckily, I guess, in the minds of some people. So we have some blue labels. It's a freebie. And then we have, I have the like um, bottom washi and like add-ons for this because I had bought them and they were like leaving shop. And then I was like, I'm going to use this eventually. So the Uggs are so me, except I don't have white Uggs because that's asking for trouble. And we have like some noodles. It looks kind of like a uh, I don't know and then s'mores and then um, deco I love the colors but yeah this is definitely gonna use in February I don't remember which week I had this plan for I might move stuff around we shall see this is an older format kit so definitely like what am I doing with my life I don't know but I love this bottom washi and um, I love the scene here so that is um, snowbound which I'll be using and I will try to do a February lineup really late video but I don't have my monthly although I might be making it so we'll see taking my invoice out so this is such a pretty color this is the Kittenish Jess freebie and then I got some doodles and I got like a doodle uh, grab bag and then yeah you'll see in a second so then we have some French toast here we have an Arby's bag because my fiance has been really into Arby's and now they have the pastel color so I have to pick that up too. We have the leashes to mark walking cannoli. We have the coffee cups to mark to go coffee or Starbucks. We have the stethoscopes because I was going to the doctors more often because sick. These nail polishes. I got these planes to mark like going on the plane unless I use like a color of the week to bring in. And then we have the suitcases because also that I also have so the reason I got those is because I have a trip to Colorado this month, so I wanted to mark stuff with that or either do countdowns or whatever. Then we have the bunnies, and then I picked up this, so I did pick up this pink. So we have 12, um, let's see, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and then one. It's more of like a blue tone pink. And then we have this little scribbler that's like vlogging. I do kind of like, I've been enjoying the vlogs. I kind of want to be a vlogger girl, but I don't have like really, this camera that I have is a DSLR and it is much lighter than my old DSLR, but I don't really want to lug that around. But <laughs> we shall see. Um, and then we have... Um, the scribbler that's like traveling which is perfect for because I'm about to be traveling and then we have this like ombre oh I didn't even realize it. it's like a green to yellow ombre of the like most popular doodles um, 2022 bestsellers this is a $75 plus freebie so and then here is the grab bag so if you like didn't get because these are all colors of the week they're not anything else so if you didn't get any colors of the week like definitely pick out one of these grab bags um i might wait like a little bit longer past like when colors of the week ended to like get ones that i wanted but we have this color here we have this like burgundy color here we have this like teal color here this is the like uh eight year doodles from last year we have this pink color so cute we have this color i think i have this one and we have the rainbow i have this one too it's like pastel pink they're all pretty much like the same which is like kind of annoying not a lot of variation but it's whatever um it's like gray color and then this like sky blue color so that is what you can get in a like doodle grab bag rack as you can see i didn't have a lot of variation but it's okay um but yeah this is such a cute color i wish i had i think this came and i wish i had gotten it but what can you do so yeah guys that is it for this whole entire haul um 
I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications to get notified every time I, I upload. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.